Honestly, miss. special program. First of all, good evening everyone. I know you're out there. I see you. I just heard a little bit. I'm going to try it again. Good evening everyone. There I hear you. My name is Vivian King and I'm the Director of Public Affairs for Roundy Supermarkets and on behalf of Chairman Bob, our roughly 18,000 employees and of course all of our 120 employees here at this new pick and save store we'd like to welcome you to our newest store in the company. Are you enjoying what you're seeing so far? Yeah. And please give yourselves a round of applause for showing up tonight and having fun with us. We really appreciate you. If you've been walking around, you've been sampling some of the things that we uh, have to offer here, and I, I got a chance to sample our Italian sausage. Yes, I've had it before, but I can't resist every time I see it. So I hope I left a little bit for you. And we have sushi here. We have all the regular things that you're used to, but lots of variety. And so we hope when you come back tomorrow morning, bright and early at 6 o'clock when we open the doors, that you find everything that you need. However, if you don't find everything that you need or you have any questions or if you have just a comment that you'd like to give us, I have just the person that you should go to. I would like to bring Dan Duncan up to the podium. Dan is the store director here, so please give him a round of applause. Look at his face closely so when you're shopping and you see it, you know he can make things happen. <laughs> and I'd also like to introduce someone else very important to this store as well, Jeff Brazel. He is our Vice President of Area Operations. Jeff, can you come on up? I know John is trying to talk to you. Tell John we're trying to open a store here. <laughs> So Jeff, as a VP of Area Operations, he's over several stores. This is one of them. So if Dan can't get it, he talks to Jeff. And so they work together to make sure we're satisfying all your needs. So we, we want you to know them very well. And uh, you'll see them periodically at the store. Dan more so than Jeff, but Jeff will be around as well. Um, you know, we thank all of you uh, for supporting us for so many years because, as you know, this store replaces our store that was on Calumet Avenue. Now, that store had been around since 1989, and you know things change quickly. I mean, the progress that our country has made in technology and everything, we change quickly. And so we needed to update that store, so I like, hope you like the update. But we, uh, we feel very strongly that we're a part of the community. Our employees work and live here. Of course, you, our customers, live here. And so uh, any, we're just grateful to that. We're grateful to your support. And so every time we open a store, we like to give back to the community and show you that support. So that's what we're going to do right now. I have a couple of tokens for these guys to give out. Hold on. So you get the big tech. You get the real tech. And at this time, I know she's here today, I would like Liz Kroll to come to the podium. Liz, are you out there? Here she comes. We'll have you go on that side, Liz. So Liz is the Sheboygan County Food Bank Coordinator. 
And I want to read you their mission. Their mission is to feed the hungry through supporting and improving the food distribution system and guide individuals seeking assistance to appropriate resources to meet their, other, uh, their basic needs. So the bottom line is this. There are some people here in our community that are hungry. We, of course, want to sell you uh, quality products, quality food at affordable prices, but we are ever mindful that there are people in our community who don't know from where their next meal will come. And we feel very strongly about this. This economy has been tough, and uh, so that makes it even tougher. The food banks um, have had just such a high demand. We know you have. So on behalf of Roundy Supermarkets, this pick and save store, we would like to give you $2,500 to help in your efforts in feeding the hungry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Liz, would you like to say a few words? <laughs> She's looking at me like, you didn't tell me I had to do that. It can be brief. <laughs> I'm new to the position, so I really appreciate this. We just had a meeting this morning before Vivian called, and the, oh, I'm sorry, and the food banks had mentioned that they are very, very bleak. There's hardly any food in the pantries right now. So this comes at a perfect time, and we just really consider it a blessing. So thank you very much. Thanks, Vivian. Thank you, Liz. We appreciate all you do at the Sheboygan County Food Bank. So now it's time for us to cut the ribbon. Oh, and Liz, you can keep this big check, too. We'll let you guys have that. <laughs> we'll keep it up here for now. But you can take it back if you want. So we have some very special people here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Dan and Jeff stand in front of me and they hate to do this because then once everybody fills in, they cover me up, but you guys cover me up. They've seen me enough. And we also have some very special people to join them in officially cutting the ribbon to officially open this store. So at first I'd like to bring up the city of Sheboygan Mayor, Bob Ryan. Mayor Ryan, thanks for coming today. Alderman Scott Versi is here. Alderman Versi, thanks for coming. And we have the City of Sheboygan Assistant Fire Chief and Sheboygan County Supervisor, Vern Koch. Vern, can you come up? Thank you very much. And are there any elected officials that we did not see on the way in? If so, please feel free to come and join us. Oh, I missed the fire chief. Yep, City of Sheboygan Fire Chief Jeff go. Herman. Yeah. Chief, I'm sorry. <laughs> Charge it to my head and not to my heart and the fact that I tried to do this without my reading glasses. That shows my age. Anyway, um, we now have people who are going to stretch the ribbon and aren't they very cute? Didn't we get the best people? Yes, please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Mayor. Oh, and then we'll it. have Mayor Ryan and Dan okay. put their hands on the sure. scissors. And what I'm going to do, we're going to count them down. So we're going to count one, two, three, cut. So all together now. One, two, three, cut. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. That concludes our official program, but the party goes on until 7 o'clock. There will be food sampling until then, so please feel free to um, enjoy the store, and we'll see you back shopping as well after tonight. Thank you very much, everyone. Can I small Can I have a Is that okay? Oh. How are you? Aw, cutie pie. I'm the pharmacist Bob. We have a full service pharmacy here for you. Uh, we have a drive up. Uh, we will also give you immunizations and flu shots. Uh, and we'll provide all your prescription needs. We cover most uh, insurance programs and everything else. So uh, welcome to uh, Pick and Save and welcome to your new Pick and Save pharmacy. What do you got here? What, what do you got here? Oh, Rowney's ice cream.
We have Kemp's low-fat milk here, strawberry, orange cream, and chocolate malt. We're sampling to the customers today. All of it's low-fat and good for you. Gift card. Oh, good oh. Try. Your turn. Oh, good try. I can take those back from you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good try. Wolofsheim Winery, all the way from Sauk City, Prairie du Sac. Cream puffs. 